Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Spider Lore, where we talk about Spider Man and we talk about different costumes that were featured in Spider Man PS4 and the ones that'll be added pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. Um, today, we're gonna talk about Hobie Brown, which is also known as Spider Punk. And he's from Earth 138. His first appearance was Amazing Spider Man Volume 3, number 10, back in 2014. Hobie Brown has taken the mantle of Spider-Man rather than Peter Parker, because I can't remember in this universe if Peter Parker existed, because I know there's a lot of Spider-Man universe where Peter Parker doesn't exist. Like, I didn't take time to go look that up. I should have, but I just couldn't find the time between, you know, writing scripts and stuff for other things. But maybe I'll look and, you know, make a follow-up video. His Puck Rock influence version of the Amazing Spider-Man suit was designed by Oliver Capel. I mean, yeah, I think it's Oliver Capel, and it reflects the general tone of his universe, which is very, uh, you know, punk-esque and revolution, and you know, it's like they're trapped in the in the early punk stages of the world. <laughs> Hobie is a revolutionary, leading people of New York in a revolution against President Ivorn's oppressive regime. Now, Spider Punk himself hasn't been seen. A lot outside of you know that initial issue of Spider-Man, uh, he was in uh, I think I, what I was a Spider, it wasn't Spider Geddon. Spider Geddon is the event now, but I, I think he does show up in a couple of, in the first couple issues of Spider Geddon. I think I'm trying to remember what the other Spider Big Spider event was. Uh, Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse, that was the other spider nice event, but he made a cameo in that and wasn't really important, per se, but, uh, he, he, he's kind of not, he doesn't understand the great power comes great responsibility thing, like current Peter, like Peter Parker does, um, he uses his powers to, you know, get the things he wants, but he's also good about, you know, serving the people, and, you know, just being Spider-Man, but not the Spider-Man, like, we have. And I actually really like Spider-Punk. I like him as a character. I like his costume. It's very uh, flashy, I will say. It's got the, uh, the spikes on the mask. It's got the vest with the patches. And it's very, very sweet-looking costume. And I really hope that we get to see him in a more official capacity maybe get a spider punk line of comics just to, you know see what's going on in his universe per se and i think it would be very interesting to read because he he like i said he doesn't fully understand the great power comes great responsibility thing because you know this universe is very very different than you know your basic peter parkers and it's i and I understand where he's coming from. He uses his powers. Like, you know how Peter Parker pulls his punches. No, Spider-Punk does not pull his punches. <laughs> that I can tell you. Um, I'm pretty sure that he murdered a guy with a punch once. I, I'm going to go look that up and make sure. But here's some trivia for Spider-Punk. Spider-Punk briefly served as one of the Web Warriors, a team of Spider-Man heroes tasked with defending the Marvel Multiverse. Which, you remember, Ultimate Spider-Man had their own version of the Web Warriors, which were multiversal? I guess you can count Miles! Yeah, Miles. Miles is from another universe, so I, that that one you can count. Alright guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want more Spider-Lore videos, because I really like doing these, and I want to do more of them. And uh, actually, I'm going to do another one. Uh, tune in next time, where we tackle the origins of the Dark Suit. Later.